everything in my mind. How y'all doing tonight? Woo wee! Everybody in here with them weed? Next time you see an Asian girl, say thank you. Say thank you for shaving your head so my hair can look good. Ain't that right? Because it's a lot of people that's natural. But sometimes you have to look at them people who natural and say, Nappy, nappy, who your pack? <laughs> yeah, cause you think, maybe your hat is nappy, you know they got the, the dreads, they look like they got the Brillo pad, and then the dreads, and you wonder, now you can get this stuff twisted. But I got a couple of questions for you. How many in here got fat people in your family? <laughs> Ooh, wait. See, in my family, you got one or two or both. A big belly, a big booty, a bow. Now, on my grandmama's side, it's the flat booty with the big belly. On my granddaddy's side, it's the big booty with no belly. See, I ain't really got no belly. What it is, I got a waistline. So, but I got this one cousin. Boy, she big. She's so big, her grandkids play on her butt. That's how big her butt is. And, and, and you know, she don't even know the grandkids back there. I said, girl, do you know them grandkids on your back? She said, no. And they back there going, wee. They swing. And so she just rocking like this right here. Just a rock. And I was like, golly, I didn't know they made drawers that big. And I just wonder sometimes if they get like a twin sheet and sew it and cut it and then sew some more. But she is, honey, but I love her. But her behind is big. She make me look like Halle's berries. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She makes me look skinty. <laughs> Let me talk to y'all. In the morning time, has anybody ever rolled over and said, hook me up before I go to work? <laughs> uh-uh. Sometimes you got to tell that joke a hook at Crest, Colgate, and Uncle Fresh and Casey with some Listerine. Ain't that right? And then come back, and I can hook you up. Ain't that it? Because I'm telling you, sometimes you wonder, did they eat something before they went to bed, or did something sour on their stomach? You know, old folk used to say, when your breath stinks, your stomach is sour. So, you know, you got to go and get you some castor oil and clean that out. You know what I'm saying? Because something is sour in your mouth. And sometimes it might be a bad tooth. I used to work with a supervisor. He had a bad tooth in his mouth. And his breath, he had to pick me up from work one day. His breath was so stinky and it was cold. I couldn't roll the window down, so all I could do was look out of it. And I told him, I said, boy, you need to hook that mouth up, get you a Tic Tac, and hook that Tic Tac up to a car battery. Because what's going to happen, you need to blow that out of your mouth. Get that tooth out of your mouth. But sometimes people don't have dental insurance. Like me, I didn't have dental insurance for a long time. I went down there for my hair. Y'all ever been to Meharry? You got to get to Meharry at 4 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know that. I go be bopping in at 8. Now, man, we've already got our 20 people. Well, y'all gonna have 21 because somebody is gonna get this tooth out of my head. She said, well, we can do that. I said, well, I'm gonna sit here. And I sat and I sat. Well, finally she come out and she said, it's gonna be $25. You got $25? I said, mm -mm, I got an EBT card. Can I pay with EBT? She said, uh-uh. I said, sure, I get that $25. Somebody is going to get this tooth out of my head. So I go back there. This is this big old black woman. And she was like, I'm going to have to pull this tooth. So she get up on me, and she go, mm. I go, mm. She go, mm. I go, mm. She trying to pull that tooth. She told her, her sister, she said, go get me an L7. I said, what's an L7? So she passed it across. That looked like some kind of trap like this right here. She said, you shouldn't have looked down. I said, honey, I don't care if you gotta use a jackhammer. You gotta get this tooth out of my mouth. So she all up on my chest and she pulling it and mm, mm, mm. We going, she said, can you feel it? I said, mm, mm. So finally she pulls it out. She said, mm, I got it. I said, whoo, but let me give you a piece of advice. Don't you ever get up on my breast like that no more because I don't roll like that. <laughs> she, said, she said, I'm sorry. I just had to get that tooth out. But I had to tell y'all, y'all know, Ever since that black man that got in that White House, we done had some problems. Have y'all had some problems? 
I tell you, I had a co-worker the other day, she, she made me go walk. She said, this sounds like something out of a Sambo movie. <laughs> and see, now I got Jesus living down in my heart. And see, it's three of them. So I got me, Jesus, God, and the Holy Ghost. What we gonna do? So I looked at her, I said, well, let me just go on walking because see, if I shut this door and they hear noises, I'm going to jail. But I thought, y'all gonna get real comfortable talking about us. But I don't, don't get it messed up. I love my white people because I got white friends, got some here supporting me tonight, and I just wanna thank them. But you know, let's talk about, you know, these big girls wearing these two little clothes. Have y'all seen them? But when your fat start hanging off the side, that's, you need one more X. <laughs> one more X in the clothes so you can pull that up over there. Now, just because it's in your size does not mean it's for us. And if you can't walk in them stilettos, let's see, big girls need flats, okay? Because a lot of times we got cankles. Cankles is where you go from your knee to your foot. There's no ankles, there's, you know, it just goes straight down. And then they done tried to put a shoe with a strap on it. Now it looks like your foot needs CPR on. Because now it's turning colors because that strap done cut off the bloodline, right? So I saw this girl one time, she was hanging out up here. Then see these sundresses and stuff, we still gotta wear a bra, okay? Because when it looks like all of this is one, that's not cute. And you ought to be mad at your friends for letting you go out like that, right? So I saw this girl, and you know, her hair was fried down and laid to the side, but everything was fat. She had that uh, thing right here, what he called it? The uh, turkey neck, the goober neck, or something. So everything was fat. And see, I can talk about fat people because I'm fat. But see, my fat is proportion. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes fat people are not proportion. But I did, I saw it, and then I was thinking, honey, your arms are doing like this. You know how you wave, you stop waving, your arms still moving. That's not cute. It's time to, you know, cover that stuff up. But if you think you cute, and your friends let you come out like that, then so be it, all right? But let's talk about these folks in these choirs. You know, you in church and they singing a song for 15 minutes. Well, how are they doing that at anymore? Churches only last 15 minutes. But you got these folks that I'm gonna sing my song, and then this little light of mine becomes a rap. You know what I'm saying? This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, woo, this light of mine. And then they're going on and on. It's like, turn the light out. Turn your light off. It's not that crucial, right? Aren't y'all tired of going to these churches? They singing songs 15 minutes. And it's like, you just repeat. They stay on the hook. You know, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Clothes. Ain't that right? Y'all know y'all should be talking to them young girls with them skirts up here. That is not cute in the church. Because you know what? Nine times out of ten, they still had that on from last night. So, you know, it's time to talk about some hygiene. You know, like I said, you know, roll over and just like hook that up with Colgate and all that good stuff. But I just want to tell y'all to thank everybody for coming out and supporting me tonight. Glory to God. Y'all give it up. Yeah.